It's time for our interesting stories of the day chat with Richard Southern. That was a pretty interesting story, right? Uh I love David Zura. I was hoping he would get in the pond and splash around for us, but I guess he didn't. He didn't want the pink eye that would go along with that. I can't blame him. I guess I'm going to put you on the spot. Can you do a, Sh a Shrek impression? <laughs> get off my donkey! <laughs> donkey. That's all I've got. Um, now, Richard, as we chat, it's the dinner hour, and this first story will either enhance or ruin our appetites. It's wild food news. This is what we made our how we make our mark at 6:40, Michelle. So welcome aboard, <laughs> Burger King in Thailand. Burger King in Thailand has a new menu item. It's called the real cheeseburger, and they ain't kidding. Look at this thing, Michelle. Oh, we are looking here. Oh my gosh, <laughs> is that all cheese? It is. It is 20 slices of processed American cheese between two sesame seed buns. That's it. No meat whatsoever. It sells for 190 Thai baht, which is about $4.15 Canadian. You'd never get that much cheese here for that price. It is uh, go going viral in Thailand. People have had mixed reactions. One blogger said he struggled to eat the whole thing. I mean, is there such a thing as too much cheese, Michelle? In that case, yeah. That might be yes. a bit too much. That is horrible. <laughs> uh, now, maybe not so horrible. Let's transition to the Toronto Zoo. I love the Toronto Zoo. It's a popular summer attraction. But visitors are being asked to be on their best behavior around one particular animal. The gorillas. They are asking visitors to the Toronto Zoo not to show cell phone video to the gorillas. Apparently, a lot of people have been coming up to the gorilla enclosure and holding up their phones to the glass and showing the gorillas videos and pictures. And the gorillas are apparently, much like we are, completely transfixed by this, so much so that they ignore the other gorillas and it's causing social problems. Newly posted signs of the zoo ask visitors to refrain from this, saying, quote, as some content can be upsetting and affect the relationship and behavior within their family. Gorillas, Michelle, uh, share about 98% of our DNA and zookeepers have discovered they're every bit as interested in cell phones as we are. How about that? I don't know what that says about us as humans and how addicted we are to our phones. It's not unlike me lying in bed for three hours watching TikTok videos and losing track of time, I don't think. You and me both. Now, Richard, we <laughs> don't even want to think about snow here in Toronto right now. It's middle of the summer, I get that, but it is actually causing a lot of joy in another part of the world. Johannesburg, South Africa the other day, they got snow for the first time in 10 years. And unlike us in Ontario, we're, you know, we're used to it. But look at the joy that uh, Johannesburg residents had frolicking around in the snow. For many kids, this was the first time they've ever seen it. Many residents described it as, quote, pure magic. Johannesburg, of course, in the southern hemisphere. It's winter there. They get it on average every five years, the snow. You're the weather expert, Michelle. Do you think we maybe we we hate snow too much? We've lost the magic of it all here. We have. I absolutely think that's a fact. If you actually dress properly and get outside in the winter, it is enjoyable. I love covering snowstorms. I having do. said that, having said that, we'll enjoy our patio this evening without any regret, I think. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you, as always, for joining us, Richard. It's been fascinating. <laughs> Thanks, Michelle. We'll see you tomorrow. See you.